of course the kids are not going to understand that it's only been 50 years. They're not going to understand that when you're acting as if everything is equal. And you know, I had to tell my niece and nephew, you, it's not equal. America wants you to believe that we're all equal. We are not. We are not. And you know, the, the thing that, that bothers me the most um, with the Black Lives Matter movement is that a lot of people actually believe, well, civil rights leaders, believe that equality is something we can attain. You can. It's just not going to happen. So instead of me asking for equality, I'd rather ask that you acknowledge there's a clear-cut difference. And that's my issue. That's what I want you to acknowledge. Because when we get ready to say, you treat me different, they look at us and say, oh no, we wouldn't do that. Like we're stupid. But you and I both know there is a difference. Last night in Sewanee, um, a white girl got up and she was so angry. She said, I know there's a difference. I see it. There's a clear cut difference. But other people, like me, will act as if there isn't one. And you know, all I'm asking for, and we told her, thank you for that. Because all that we're asking for is that you acknowledge that there is a difference. Acknowledge the fact that when I get in the car, my odds of making it home safely are shorter or smaller than when she gets in the car. Or when he gets in the car on the way home and he gets pulled over, that stop may not go as planned. And we know that. But a white man can drive home drunk and he'll get home. Let's acknowledge that. That's the thing that we need to be asking for. Asking for equality is not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen.